in my last video I said I was going to restart this challenge and I did but Terraria got, just got pretty boring and I forgot about it. So here's the video. I didn't actually finish the challenge but for all 9 of my viewers I'll make it up to you by doing a Skyrim video I'm already working on soon. Today I'm going to be doing a summoner only challenge in Terraria. The rules for this challenge is that I can only use weapons that deal summon damage. I'm allowed to use any vanity item and armor set that I feel like. With all that said, let's get straight into the challenge. This time when I made the world, I made sure not to make any mistakes. On entering the world, I got a lot of loot and death. Much, much death. I then built a house that would provide me shelter from all girl scouts. I then AFK'd next to a gravestone to get a dead child, aka my first summon weapon. While exploring, I found a dungeon with a chest sitting on the outside. This could have provided me late gear past Skeletron without actually beating him, however all it gave me was a gold key, which is pretty useless until I actually do beat Skeletron. While I was out mining, a blood moon decided to happen. I was very unprepared for this battle, so what did I do? Did I A. Cry like a little bitch? B piss myself or C hide in a box and wait till it was all over it was actually D all of the above <laughs> After getting a new diaper, I decided to venture off into the jungle to get the uh, snap thorn whip. I decided to skip the leather whip because I wasn't into all of that. I then made some much needed upgrades to my house. I used a gravity potion to find a sky island. I also found some fledging wings and death. I placed down some ice toilets, made an arena at my house, and I made an arena for the Reign of Cthulhu. While making the arena, King Slime decided to show up. King Slime wasn't much of a threat, because like any other teenage boy, I know how to deal with slimy, sticky goop. Feeling confident after the King Slime fight, I decided to go up against the Eye of Cthulhu. The Eye of Cthulhu is such a petty boss, you have to be such a loser to die to him. As I was saying, the Eye of Cthulhu is such a powerful boss, he puts Sans to shame. After getting some life crystals, it was time for the rematch. I remember this happening from somewhere, but I can't quite put my finger on it. After going for the eyes, it was time to call some mental damage. With the eye and brain of Cthulhu defeated, it was time to go get some hellstone so I can make the imp staff. Something tells me that they don't like me very much. Next up on the kill list was Queen Bee. You like jazz? Eh, not really. Alright, round two, motherfucker, let's go. The majority of the fight is me using the shield of Cthulhu to block out her dash attacks. And then I have to dodge her stingers that she shoots like a goddamn gadling gun. All while my summon tries not to miss all of its shots. I didn't drop enough honeycomb so I have to fight her again if I want to get that full bee armor. I bought a pygmy necklace that will allow me to increase my summons by one. You think you can take me on? Be my guest. Ooh, that stings. This fight is going beautiful. Yeah, I deserve that. After acquiring a full set of bee armor, I needed to get the goblin tinkerer. After a goblin invasion, they're gonna tie him up and leave him in the cave to die. My type of people. However, I'm gonna need to go in that cave, find him, save his life, just so he can rob me of everything I own. When the goblin invasion happened, I just kinda hid in my little box and waited it out. Oh, it's about time. Wait a second. Who are you? Oh my god. 
I am beautiful. Well, it's about time. With my gear reforged, I was more than ready to fight the wall of flesh. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. As I was saying, I was more than prepared to fight Skeletron, so I got the arena set up and started the fight. Skeletron wasn't much of an issue because as a teenage boy, I know exactly how to get rid of a boner like this. The reason I'm fighting Skeletron is so I can get the Spinal Whip and the Cobalt Shield. The Cobalt Shield will prevent me from getting stunlocked by everything. Based on the rules of the challenge, I should be allowed to use the Bone Glove. However, I'm not going to because it feels like cheating even though it doesn't go against any of the rules. Getting the Cobalt Shield would be a long and dangerous challenge as it may take upwards of an hour to get. How would you look at that? I found out I was 5 bones short from the Spinal Tap Whip, meaning I have to go all the way back to the dungeon, then kill one skeleton, then return all the way back to my base just to make this stupid whip. My life is going well. The fuck you mean terrible? Attempt 2, asshole. Right at the start of the fight, the creepy motherfucker decided to come out of the ground. This is okay though, because as a teenage boy, I know exactly how to deal with a long line of flesh. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to keep up this running joke. I started dealing massive damage to the boss, and before I knew it, the fight was over. I said the fight was over. Come the fuck on! We managed to snag the firecracker whip, however, we did not get the summoner emblem. And before we can refight the wall of flesh, I need to go get some spider armor in the spider summon weapon thingy. After extensive hours of grinding for the spider armor and the spider summon thingy, I was on my way to fight the wall of flesh over and over and over until we got the summoner emblem. With the new gear and the summoner staff, this fight will be very easy. As I was saying that this fight will be very, very easy to beat. It it only took beating him twice for him to drop the summoner emblem. I went to break some alders to get some hard mode ores, however this happened. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I died to it? A herpling. I lost 36 gold to a fucking herpling? What the hell is that? I went all the way back over there so I can break some more altars. I didn't need to break much because as a summoner the only thing I need from these is just enough ore to make the pickaxe. So I did a bit of grinding. And instead of showing all the boring stuff, I decided to just show all the interesting things that led up to this point. I got a prostate exam by the destroyer. I killed some mimics. I had to sit through an entire pirate invasion. Twice. I did get the pirate staff from it, so that's pretty cool. I mined some hard mode ores. I sat through an entire blood moon. I killed an ice golem. I made a cool whip staff. Sat through a blood moon. Again. I got butt fucked by goblins, I got fucked by twins, and not in the good way, I got another prostate exam, and of course another blood moon cause why not. And now we're all caught up. Fuck! If you made it this far that must mean you like this content so consider subscribing or else this will be you. Since I can't beat the destroyer yet, and not due to a lack of skill, I'm gonna have to fight Queen Slime to get that juicy flying knife staff. This fight was pretty difficult since I usually use a melee class where you have to get up close and personal with them, but with the summoning class you have to do the exact opposite, which was pretty hard for me to get. I secured the Gamer Girl bathwater, however, I was not able to obtain the knife staff, so I'm gonna have to fight her again, which should be easy since I did it the first time, right? We can all agree on two things. A. That was bullshit. B. 
Beethoven makes some pretty good music. Anyways, you're probably wondering why I'm in the middle of a sandstorm right now. That's because sand elementals drop forbidden shards, which makes forbidden armor. I have looked at so many guides for the summoning class, and I have seen no one talking about this armor. Maybe because everyone else can beat the destroyer with spider armor. Now I have to beat three sand elementals to get my grubby little hands on this new armor set. Seriously, why is no one talking about this armor set? I could summon sand natos whenever I feel like it. After my last tussle with clean slime, I actually managed to get the blade staff. Fucking finally.